What's up, Pack members? It's Winger Spirit the Elf here, and welcome to another video. As you might notice, I am in the spirit den this time. Yeah, I am not in the media room. I decided to film a video in the spirit den for once since I haven't done that in a while. And yes, I'm also wearing one of my wolf shirts. Lifetime Wolf Pack member. I wore it today because it's my 22nd birthday, like I mentioned earlier on. And this video is pretty much just like a basic summary of what went on for my 22nd birthday. And it was a really good birthday in my opinion. So, you know, if this bores some of you, then sorry. But it's, I do like to, you know, discuss some things. And, you know, honestly, I haven't been uploading much to my channel recently. So I thought, yeah, I'll make a video. So, yeah, obviously I am in my spirit then, like I just... I said, wanted to try filming a video in here for once, and you see I'm joined by some of my buddies, you know, I got Sif right here, they have Christian on his back, Kiba's back here, and of course, my Jonja. Yeah. And then I also have, like, Kipper, Wolf Link, and Rocky back there, they're just on my pillow, and I also have my Husky or Wolf pillow in the background, as you can see. Anyway. So this here, like I said, is a basic summary of my 22nd birthday. So to start off, you know, like early on this morning, very early this morning actually, I actually did a little something, a little treat for myself. Like yesterday I actually, well, I arranged a phone call with the Nickelodeon Birthday Club. Now this is just for fun. And I actually chose the Paw Patrol because if you didn't know, I'm a big Paw Patrol fan. I'm actually in the fandom, which is pretty cool in my opinion. So, yep, yeah, and that was just for fun. It actually was an interesting little thing to try. It was only like 30 seconds, something long. It was still cool, though. And, yeah. So, yep. Yeah. And then, you know, after that, most of my 22nd birthday was as pretty, you know, basic. You know, I... Pretty much, like, spent a few hours, like, just hanging out here, because, like, my little sister was at school, and my mom was at work, so I was kind of, just kind of chilling out for the most part. You know, I actually played, you know, some Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, and I actually now have all the characters and all the starships, minus the microships, which I will get later on in the game, so that's actually pretty cool. And, yeah, but then, you know, that lasted a few hours, and... Then when it was time for the true fun of my birthday to begin, and me, my mom, my little sister, and my grandma, we all went out to eat at a, a Japanese restaurant that was, you know, local, which I love Japanese food. It's my favorite foreign food. And it was pretty good in my opinion. Then following out, we, we went home, we had cake with a little bit of ice cream, really good. I prefer vanilla over chocolate. I'm just not really much of a chocolate fan. And I'm all vanilla. <laughs> That sounds so wrong, but anyway, and you know, following that, you know, they we, they gave me my birthday gifts and all that, and I will show what I got, so, yep, and I do have them set up behind my tripod, so I will step off camera for a second while I grab it, so, yep, let me show you what I got. So, this is the first set, it's from Lego Marvel Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings called Battle of the Ancient Village. And, now this is one of the only two Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings Lego sets that was released, as far as I know. So, it's this one, which is Battle of the Ancient Village, and then, one's like, I forget what it's called, but it's like, a car one. It's like a smaller one, I believe, but, which I could have gotten that one, but I wanted this one because it had the spiritual dragon, and not to mention I wanted this because, well, Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings, that's actually a really good Marvel movie. I was impressed. So, yep, that, this is a really cool one. Then, next up is the Lego Spider-Man No Way Home set. It's called Spider-Man in the Sanctum Workshop. And this is the only actual accurate No Way Home set considering the other ones were kind of like combining villains and whatnot from like the earlier Tom Holland Spider-Man movies while throwing in some No Way Home stuff as well which makes sense considering you know this is about like you know the earlier movies like the multiverse and whatnot so that's pretty cool and yeah 
And No Way Home, this actually was a really good uh, movie. I definitely enjoyed it. We have not gotten any Lego sets with, like, the Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire Spider-Man yet. But then again, since this movie is still relatively new, it's only, like, one month or two months old at this point, I believe. You know, like, maybe in the future, possibly in May, when Lego starts doing their, you know, big deal or starts releasing more Lego sets, maybe we'll get... Like, well, some Tom Obi Maguire or Andrew Garfield Spider-Man figures or ideas or whatever. So, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Who knows? But yeah, this was a really cool set. I'm glad I have it. Then, next one. This one's actually pretty cool. This one is the... I can never say the name right. Gargantos Showdown. So this is the Gargantos Showdown. It's from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which comes out on May 6th. I am going to see that movie, not on launch night, because that will just be an accident waiting to happen. And, but, uh, yeah, pretty cool that I have this set, too. I do think Multiverse of Madness is going to be a really cool movie. Because, like, honestly, I've said this before, or, well, not on YouTube, but I've said that, you know, now that the multiverse has been opened, you know, there's, like, an infinite number of possibilities. Like, we can get so many different heroes and villains. But, yep, this one looks looks pretty cool, and <laughs> this is kind of crazy, or not crazy, but this is kind of interesting here, but my mom, who's not really a big Marvel fan, she said this so wrong. She thought Multiverse of Madness was Masters of the Universe, and for those of you who know Masters of the Universe, that's a completely different series, but my mom doesn't really care much about Marvel, so, you know, it's not that big a deal. But, I mean, I've never watched Masters of the Universe, but I've heard of it. So I know what it is, but other than that, you know, oh, yeah, but, you know, like I said before, she doesn't really, really, you know, care about Marvel much, but that's beyond the point, and if you guys want me to review those sets after I build them, then do tell me in the comments below, but yeah, so if you want reviews of those sets, do tell me I will review them possibly, most likely I will because I need more videos, and I do have one more gift. And this one's actually pretty cool. It is a t-shirt. Yep, that's right. Hakuna Matata Lion King shirt. And this is one of the... Oops. This is one of the only Lion King shirts I have now. Obviously, I, I know I had one when I was a little kid, but... You know, I've obviously grown out of that one at this point. I was like in kindergarten when I had that shirt. But pretty much, yeah... And this isn't the only Lion King shirt I have. I actually do have another one back here. Now this shirt right here has nothing to do with my birthday, but I just thought it would be cool to show it anyway. Yep, I have this other Lion King shirt when I saw the Lion King Broadway musical like earlier this month because it came to my town. It was an amazing show. Oh, if you haven't seen it, then you totally should. It was an amazing show. Like, if you're a Lion King fan, like I am, then you'll love the show. And, yeah. And I am more of a hyena fan when it comes to lions, or Lion King and Lion Guard. Definitely like Lion Guard a little more. But, yeah. But other than that, I don't think there's anything else I really have to say. So, overall... I say it was a good 22nd birthday, so thank you for watching, and thanks to all of you who have left me a birthday comment or anything like that, and until next time, this is Spirit the Alpha, signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack.